there is a long running fact or story that chinggis khan slept with so many women that in today's world every 1 in 200 people are related to him please give your opinion very good question i'm glad you bring this up so this is a very popular belief that at least 10% of humanity minimum is descended from chinggis khan because he slept with or rather raped thousands of women and fathered thousands and fathered thousands of children this is a very popular belief today all across the world and the origin of this belief is a national geographic article from i think 2003 or thereabouts and the title of the article was something like chinggis khan was a prolific lover and that he fathered thousands of children so the basis of this article is a support is, is a genetic study that found that there is a certain mongolian lineage a patrilineal genetic lineage which traces back to mongolia that is found in large parts of central asia and in some parts of europe so they have made the leap of imagination of connecting that lineage with chinggis khan now if you want to connect two individuals genetically you need dna samples of both both individuals right so let's say that uh, i we find a person who has this mongolian genetic lineage who is alive today you take their blood or or a piece of hair or something you do a dna test you sample their genome and then you would need to connect that person to chinggis khan genetically so you would need a sample of chinggis khan's dna a strand of hair a piece of bone or something but we don't have that we do not have a single sample of chinggis khan's dna because his tomb has never been found right so then how do you make the conclusion that this genetic lineage is is uh, fathered by chinggis khan when you don't have a sample of his dna and you don't even have a sample of dna from any of his descendants any of his sons or grandsons so how does one make this incredible leap of 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 uh, of belief so this article is completely erroneous it is scientifically wrong and th this essentially is another example of the way chinggis khan has been demonized relentlessly throughout history there is absolutely no evidence that he raped women or slept with hundreds of women and and the other uh, popular uh, belief is that the mongols used rape as a weapon of war which means that they were systematic they were systematic rapists once again there is not one shred of real, of real hard evidence that corroborates this fact now the most of the histories of the mongols have been written by their enemies they, these histories have been written by the people they conquered and therefore they have been obviously demonized in these histories but there is no real evidence no hard scientific evidence that corroborates any of these claims for example some english historian actually portrayed the mongols as cannibals as as they he portrayed them as eating the flesh of their of the people they conquer which is obviously a complete lie so this is the way the mongols have been relentlessly demonized now the fact is this the mongols had a code of laws called the yasa code it was instituted by chinggis khan himself and this code of laws was was very very strictly and harshly enforced and this this code of laws prescribed the death penalty for anyone who who either abducted or sexually molested a woman and this applied to any person inside his enormous empire so every woman in his empire was protected by this law whether she was mongol or from a conquered people every woman in this empire was protected by chinggis khan's law now tell me this is a man who is the ruler who is the leader of an enormous nation now would he have been able to garner the respect of his soldiers and his people had he been flouting his own laws can a leader claim to be a leader if he is breaking the laws that he is imposing on, on his own on his subjects it just doesn't work that way chinggis khan was universally respected by his people and even by his enemies so this story this incredibly poor myth that he was a mass rapist and that the the mongols were rapists it is a lie it is an absolute lie there is no it has no basis in fact